What is up Sunday fams? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by. Word of Honor has ended and boy was it amazing. Just so that I get this out of the way, if I was going to rate The Untamed an A+, the best of the best, the best Chinese dramas that I've seen, I would give Word of Honor an A. And now with that being said, let's talk about the ending. And I know from some of my discussions with a few friends of mine, the Word of Honor ending was a little bit confusing. It's been interpreted in several different ways. Some are even confused whether Wen Kishing survived or if it was a sad or happy ending. I think it was ultimately a happy ending, the ending that we all wanted. Now let's recap the ending a little bit. Before we get to the finality of it all, how did we get here? Wen Kishing fakes his death in order to fool everyone to get to a point where he can come out in this sort of procession or this trial in the Conference of Heroes. Very similar to how Gong Chao ended his life just by the rule of the mob. It seems that Wen Kishing has been planning this this whole time, working with Yi Bai Yi to let him pursue his brand of justice. Ultimately, when we get to the Heroes Conference, Zhao Jing is found guilty by the mob and justice has been served. His martial arts abilities have been taken from him, as well as his ability to speak. He's been found guilty for all of his years of corruption, bloodbath, and betrayal. Although Scorpion allied with Wen Kishing, it wasn't over. His ambition was to acquire all the keys and eventually take over Prince Jin. He then conspired with Mo Ha Young, the leader of the Gentle Sword sect, to ambush A Zheng's wedding. This was such a tragedy to see this. A Zheng was actually turning into a character that I really enjoyed seeing. You know, in the beginning of Word of Honor, she was kind of really annoying, really bratty, but that's just part of her personal journey. Her character journey was humanized when she eventually fell in love with Wei Ning. It was very tragic to see it all happen, and this was all because of the Scorpion's planning. We then see A Zheng witness the death of her beloved. In a fit of rage, she tries to exact vengeance on Mo Ha Young, but then eventually loses her life. Which then leads us to this really amazing fight sequence between Win Kasheng and Mo Ha Young. Of course, Win Kasheng prevails here, but not without any injuries. As he is about to faint from his injuries, the scorpion shows up, ready to take his life. Jajiju shows up just in time to rescue him and strikes a deal with Scorpion to let them leave. This all leads up to the final epic sequences in the last episode. Inside the armory where Wen Kishing and Zhao Jishu are exploring the library, they find out that the secret to the long-lasting country are grains, being able to farm, cultivate the land so that you can feed the people. But then the epic moment arrives. So in the subtitles, it was translated as the combined six method of cultivation. I don't know. It was also translated as the Li Hu skill. And what that means is you're able to pass your life force into somebody else to save their life. Now this is actually interesting because Yi Bai Yi instructed Lao Wen how to transform this energy in order to save Zhao Jishu. So let me try to understand this because this is also kind of the way I've translated it and it's also the POV that I'm seeing it as I am exploring this final scene. In order to master this skill, you have to completely give yourself to the other, which means that Wen Kishing has to offer his life in a way that he is offering himself freely without any doubt, no doubt whatsoever. These two soulmates were meant to be together and destined to be together forever. After he says I love you, his hair turns gray, which means that they were successful in this process. Now that's actually really interesting because it connects to Yi Bai Yi's immortality. They had said that Yi Bai Yi was the sword immortal. Since he has come down to enjoy the joys of human life, his hair started to turn gray, so that means he's no longer immortal. He's going to die very, very soon. Which takes us to the final scenes where we see Wen Kishing and Zhao Jishu teaching a young apprentice. Now, don't forget that there is a bonus clip. Episode 36 is not the last episode. The directors have actually shot a bonus episode, which is only like 15 minutes long, but it explains their ending in further detail. They both show up after we see a young disciple, a young apprentice being taught by Zhao Jishu. They proceed to have a friendly combat in the air, very reminiscent of how their relationship first started. It was really poetic and beautiful to see these two soulmates end up together at the end forever. So I think it was a happy ending. Now, I don't know whether they are now immortals because they are stuck at the mountain. And in order to preserve Wen Kishing's life, he needs to stay there forever. Now, I don't know if Zhao Jishu is also an immortal, but I think he's there for Wen Kishing to be with him forever. 
Every once in a while, we're treated with an amazing story such as The Untamed. And now we have Word of Honor, the story of two soulmates who meet each other, burdened by their dark paths, attain retribution, love, and eternal happiness. Such an amazing and beautiful journey. The world was fascinating and just amazing to behold. What did you guys think of the ending? Was it happy or was it sad? And how did you interpret it? I'd love to know in the comments below. In any case, that is it from you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that bell notification so you know when we post new videos. And once again, you have a great and amazing day. I'll see you next time.